In Excel you have two ways to copy and then paste something. So if I take something like this, I copy it, there I did a control C, if I click here, when I paste, in this case I'm going to do a control V, absolutely everything is taken. So the colors, the borders, the comments, everything is taken. Perhaps you don't want all of that, you then should consider the paste special option. I'm just going to undo and then we're going to work through the various options. So the first thing we may want to do, for example here someone's put a comment, I would like to copy the cell but only the comment because I'd like to have this comment on all these cells. If I pasted it now all these numbers would change which defeats the object of copying and pasting the comments. So what I can do is I've copied it under home is paste. Now there's a whole bunch of icons here but we're going to go to the paste special options and you'll see there's a number of ways we can paste special. So what we are trying to do here is just the comments. So you'll see there's an item here called comments and when I say OK note that this is 150, 250, 55. When I say OK it's added the comments so each one now has that same comment but the numbers haven't changed. So using the paste special we have managed to copy our comment and then paste it on all the relevant cells. And that is the type of thing that paste special can do. Let's just get rid of these comments. So I'm just going to delete them. We can do it manually like this or we could have done it in a quick way. What I now want to do is copy this and I want to copy and paste it over here but let's say I only want the values so I don't want the blue cells, the borders etc. I'm going to paste special and you'll see there's an item here called values. So when I click values and say OK you'll see what it does is it pastes it there's no formatting. If I click on this cell you see there's a formula there. This cell here has got no formula. So these are only values. It's quite useful if you don't want the numbers to change. As you'll notice because we don't have the formatting it doesn't look as nice. Let's now undo this. So again I've still got the copy on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say paste special and now instead of values I'm going to ask for formulas. When I do that I'm going to say OK. You'll notice it looks the same as when we did the values. But what's important to note is that this formula now has been copied. So the difference with values and formulas is that values will overwrite any formula with its own value. Formulas will keep the input, so you'll see that is still a value, but it will maintain the formulas. As you can see, again, it hasn't taken the formatting in any way. Let's see what else we can do. I'm just going to undo this. Again, we're still in the copy mode. Let's go to paste special. So we've looked at formulas and values. You'll see there is an option here called formats. So when I choose formats and I say OK, can you see that it does nothing else except take the formats. And if we look type some numbers in here, it would be exactly this format. So that option, paste special formats, is very similar to the format painter. So you can either do the paste special formats or the format painter. Let's just undo this. Again, we're in copy mode, paste special. So we've covered most of these. Validation will be covered at another point. A lot of people know this side, but you'll see on this side there's a whole bunch of options that are lesser known but just as useful. So the first one talks about using the source theme. So if you've set up your spreadsheets to have a certain theme, certain fonts, etc., you can use that. But what we're more interested in is, for example, there's an option saying it wants absolutely everything except these borders. 
So if I choose that, I say everything except the borders. When I say OK, can you see it's exactly the same. The formulas are copied, the numbers are copied, the formats are copied, but there are no borders. Because borders often can cause a problem when you copy paste, they don't look correct. Let's undo. Let's go back to paste special. So that's all except borders. There's quite a nice one here saying column width. So if I wanted to, I could copy that, then go to another another sheet and tell it to paste the column widths. But more important to me is these ones here, formulas and number formats, values and number formats. Because as you would have seen, when we chose values and we said OK, it looks a bit of a mess. Because it would be ideal if we could have the number formats but nothing else. And that's what this option allows. Pay special, values and number formats. When I say OK, so it's still values, still lost all the colors, the borders, but at least the formats are in a more acceptable format and all these decimals are hidden. And the same thing happens when you do it with paste special formulas and number formats. Again, looks the same. There are formulas, but as you can see, the formats are more acceptable format. So it just skips a step of you pasting as values and then reformatting everything.